For long, they suffer the consequences of heavy rainfall as a result of the absence of good drainage system and road network. But with the completion of roads and other projects, relief has come the way of the people of Wari in Wari South, as well as of war and ephemeral communities in Wigeli South local government areas of Delta State. A 100 meter long bridge and a height of 45 meters above water level with side drain on both sides of the approach characterizes the new road infrastructure located between Ovo and Efru Motor communities in Ugeli South local government area. Besides the bridge is a 300 meters asphalt road nearing completion. To enforce perfection ahead of commissioning, Delta State government officials are here for a final inspection. This is just a protection, but this has nothing to do with the bridge. I know, I know. So it has to be. The, the stop picture was done under the rain. Mm. Yeah, under the rain. The Ovo Ephraim Otor Bridge was constructed basically to link communities and to boost economic activities within the area and with other communities outside the state. Usually bridges are between two communities, but there are several communities on either side of the bridge. All those different communities are connected with one another. In which case, if you are coming from Owo, there are villages before Owo that will not take advantage of that bridge to be able to cross to Efronto. What that means is that all those other communities, and indeed those of us who may be visiting from other places, have been connected with both our kids and kin across the, uh, both sides of the bridge. So in that case, it's a bridge that is connecting several possibilities. The drains will also serve as a channel for water evacuation, thereby reducing the effect of flood usually experienced in these communities. If you recall, when we inspected that bridge some uh, 18 months ago, that particular environment was heavily flooded. But the beauty of it is that it has a, a natural water channel. There's a river that is underneath that bridge, and I'm sure you saw it. What it also means that a number of the uh, flood water you talked about will empty into this natural river, natural water course. The team also inspects the rehabilitation and resealing of Otu Jeremy Okwagbe Road and the construction of Okwagbe Ututwama Esaba Road Phase 1, all in Ugeli South Local Government Area. This project falls under Governor Okowa's smart agenda, conceived to bridge the infrastructure gap in the rural areas. The project have also enabled employment opportunities for residents of the area. Youths trained under the state's skill acquisition program executed the interlocking of the internal roads. We look at the smart agenda of His Excellency, our mentor. I would pick the component there of uh, skill acquisition and empowerment. Uh, we started. And um, we were able to, within the period, our target was to train 3,000 persons in different skill sets within three years. However, directly we have been able to train 850 of them interlock, uh, K3, bag and shoe making, hairdressing. And uh, the model we use is to take the training to the various communities. The projects come as a relief to plight of residents who have endured bad roads and long travel time for years. So many years, it has been a challenge to us. Because you want to leave over here for a front of year, you can see that the two communities just a stone throw. But you must drive through from over to Terry 
Ugeli main town, a Tugo community, Ivory Maro community before you can assess here. But with this bridge now, you want to live here to worry now. It's so, it's so, so easy for you to go. So it's something of uh, great joy to us. This project will be inaugurated soon, and for the benefits in communities, the waiting is only for a short while. The Ugali Road projects are part of several others being embarked upon by the Delta State Government in response to the people's yearnings, as captured in pictures and videos by eyewitness reporters. Recently, the Delta State Governor, Mr. Ifanyo Kowa, and his Bielsa State counterpart, Duye Diri, commissioned some completed projects across the state. The governors commissioned the reconstructed Ubeji Access Road from MPA Interchange to Trans Wari Junction, the access road from MPA Expressway in Uvie to Wari Refinery and Petrochemicals, as well as the newly constructed Igobadu Secondary School, Okuma Baleout. It shows that the governor, the government of Delta State is working and Delta is indeed moving forward. Well, the governor remarked that this is not a PDP event. However, the fact is sacred that the governor and the government of Delta is a PDP government. So PDP is working. Governor Okoa says the projects were embarked on because of the direct impact it has on the lives of the people and assured that more projects will be carried out to change the face of the state. To use this opportunity to appeal to our people that we must cooperate with the contractors, as I said, those buildings that have been built along the water course, some of them will have to go down because the whole of the people cannot suffer for, because of few buildings that are on the water course. It is best that compensations are paid to those persons so that the rest of the people will be free from the challenges of flooding. The people are grateful for the project but request for more security and infrastructure development. Prior to now, this road was a single lane and it was obvious that it will not be able to serve the needs of this, the communities around. Because if you, Ebukodo, Ikere, and the other communities, they all have various economic businesses that are operating here. We have tank farms. We have over eight tank farms here. And with the small road it was, that was here before, it will not be able to serve the growing tank farms. You know, with this effort by his governor, it has really boosted the economic life. The projects are expected to enhance the economy of the communities and connect them to other parts of the state. <laughs>